Hey, Yetta, are we getting too old for this large property? I don't see the writing on the wall yet at all. <laughs> So we're excited to welcome you to another episode of Life's Inside Track. I'm Yetta Decker. And I'm Ken Decker. And it's where we get to share techniques, thoughts, tools, tips, and some insights that we all deserve, you, I, everyone. So we get to turn our house into home, our families thrive, and we live the very best life possible. So we're going to consider in this segment, when is the right time to choose to move? And we're going to propose that it's before for the choices made for you. Mm. So when the writing is on the wall is the time to start to ponder and consider yeah. when, when and why one might want to move. Mm -hmm. And hopefully the golden years are full of golden choices. And that means you've set yourself up uh, spiritually, physically, mentally, and financially to make golden choices in your golden years. Right. And golden years start when? I think they start at different times for different people. Absolutely. Right? When do they potentially start, the golden years? Well, I think they start when you start to be able to make choices that you have some freedom to make. Right? Like... You know, when you have children and you're you're raising them and maybe sending them to school and there's a lot of responsibilities that start to lighten up for most people. Not everybody. Some people it's responsive heavy responsibility stays right to the till the end. Right. But for many the the heavy responsibilities start to lighten when the kids get moved out, they go to their they buy their own homes and everything's going tickety boo, so to speak. Right. And I think in our golden years, which is real true for us today, sometimes in our golden years, which I'm gonna propose maybe starts anywhere from 55, 60, 65, somewhere in there for the most part, or what per people perceive to be the golden years mm -hmm. when somebody enlightened me just on Sunday that we could go to the seniors um, club at church. It was <laughs> like, Ken, you want to go? He goes, no, I said, I don't want to no. go either. And so it's just interesting. I think some of it's in our mindset. Yeah. Right. And Absolutely. some of it is in our physical age. Cause you're right. There are things that are lessened. And yet in those golden years, we're also sometimes contending with things like parents who are also in their very much golden years mm -hmm. and we're figuring out how to take care of them and how to support them on the journey. So yeah. sometimes the responsibilities increase. Yeah. And I think the golden years start to be tarnished so to speak, when you start having a harder time making decisions or remembering things or physically not being able to do what you used to be able to do, not being able to care for the yard, not being able to shovel the snow. And some people just, if it's a physical thing, some people just make the decision to hire out. Right. And some people make the decision to hire it out when they're in their 20s. Or their 30s or their yeah. 40s. Like, it's just not something that's on their periphery to do. We were just connecting with one of our neighbors the other day, and they're in her, their 30s. And they decided that they don't, of course, do their own laneway. I say, of course, because many people don't, but lots do. And they also don't shovel their own walkway in the wintertime, right? They certainly don't cut their own grass. And so it, that's not necessarily an age thing. Mm-hmm. And often it is, if I think it's when you have the desire to do it and you no longer have the ability right. to comfortably do it. Yeah, and so the writing is on the wall, so to speak, when you can start to see that in the future you don't want to be doing something anymore or you're, you feel like it's becoming more of a struggle to think about it. So that's when... You want to make the decision from a place of power right. and choice. Then at the point where, you know, a family member says, hey, you know, you're going to burn down the place because you keep leaving the stove on or, you know, things of that nature are occurring. So at what point, and I remember John Maxwell said this, right? He said, I want, as he got, as he started to get to a certain age, he actually set an age where he wasn't going to do 
ministry anymore, wasn't going to do leadership trainings, wasn't going to do yeah. teaching anymore. And then a year later, he pulled it back and he said, no, 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 no. It's not an age. It's I need to be aware of when I'm not bringing great value anymore, that's when I need to pull back. Right. So when it comes to housing, what we're really talking about is when you start to feel like it's too much, when it's arduous, when it's beyond your ability, beyond your capacity, rather than waiting until you're in over your head or you're sinking as the case may be, mm -hmm. right? Make the call, like have a conversation with us, not only become part of the community, become part of the community today, if you haven't already, together at DeckerTeam.com. Just send us an email and say, I just want to stay connected with you guys between Life's Inside Track episodes, and we would love that. But mm -hmm. further, it may be time for a clarity call. We'll just ask some very simple questions that will help you understand whether this is the time to read the writing that's on the wall. Yeah, nobody likes to be told what to do. I sure don't, do you? So, no. So no. the questions that we ask are self-discovery questions so that people come to the clarity and the focus that is right for them, not right for me, not right for you, but mm -hmm. right for them in the in the moment. And that might be stay, that might be move, that might be rented and and go into a condo. It might be assisted living. Who knows? It might be but, family moving in with you. Yeah, there right? be all kinds of yeah. things come out of it. But that will come from a, a discovery call. Right. And if you have clarity, good for you. We just find often when we're in our own heads, when we're talking to ourselves or even to our partner, we play off each other in such a way that we don't necessarily get to make a better choice. Mm -hmm. It's how do, how do we, how can we help you look a little beyond where you're currently yeah. looking? And recently we had a client yeah. who you, you helped them buy a house 20 years ago. Yeah. And then for the last probably year, year and a half, we've had several conversations well, and around can I even what's it look like, right, right? Yeah. And can I even say that 10 years ago, we had the first conversation Yeah, about is the house to, do I still need this? Does right. this still work for me? Right. And then he started to struggle with um, mental energy and, and, you know, basically like chronic fatigue. And, and so yeah. then when he's in a, poor place mentally, it wasn't the time to make a decision to move. He had to ride that out. But then when he felt good, he felt like he could keep the house all the time. So we had those kind of discussions and it took about a year of those on and off. And then him talking with his family and saying, yep, yeah, no, it's the right thing to do. I'm going to buy a condo. I'd like to buy something on the water, something that's got peaceful, something where I can... You know, talk to people and be be of value, be in, min in ministry, and not have to worry about the the acre lawn and all of that stuff, right? Right. So, so it's interesting. Somebody else's choice isn't necessarily going to be the best choice for you. I just want to like highlight that. Your choice, just get clarity from talking to just a few trusted people and really hearing what's already within you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I guess what we're saying is, is the writing on the wall yeah. that you need to get ahead of that? Okay. So look at your walls, see if there's any writing on them. <laughs> and we're just delighted to be here positioning you to build wealth wisely because it's about much more than just money. Moving forward with the Decker team. Moving forward together with the Decker team.